It's Monday, August the 21st, 2023, and David Kanas and I have just started a five-night backpacking trip in Sawtooth Wilderness in Idaho. We started this trip at Pettit Lake and we're taking the 10 cup trail up toward Farley Lake. Not sure how far we're gonna go. We got a really late start because of rain this morning, trying to take down our car camp. We actually were planning on starting yesterday, but it rained nonstop for about 24 hours. So uh, we decided to wait until today. It is cloudy, still spitting a little rain and the temperature is about 60 degrees. All right, we found a campsite that'll work. It's near what I guess is a designated campsite. It uh, shows up on the Gaia maps, but as a site, but it's not, it's not more than 100 feet away from the trail. So I don't know what's up with that. So we climbed up a little hill, found a site that'll work. It's near a creek crossing that we can do in the morning. We're probably a mile and a half from Farley Lake. That was kind of a unofficial goal. It's been raining on and off this afternoon. Looks, we've got a break in the rain now, but it looks like clouds are getting dark, so this will give us a chance to set up before it starts raining again. It's a good thing we stopped what we did last night. It right after we got our uh, shelter set up, it rained hard. A lot of thunder for about an hour. Then it kind of quit and it was just off and on rain for the rest of the evening. But uh, today we're continuing on the Yellowberry Creek Trail. Then we're gonna take, I forget the trail, over to somewhere around Lake Edna and camp tonight. It is a beautiful day today, partly cloudy, and the temperature's in the mid-60s. So we met these really friendly people from Australia. They were trying to guess where we were from and uh, right away she guessed I was from Tennessee.
All right, we're at Edith Lake. Been looking around for about 30 minutes trying to find a campsite that's legal. We finally found one that's uh, not only legal but established with a beautiful view. It was an absolutely great day today. A lot of climbing, the trail was rocky in some sections. Been uh, partly cloudy all day, cool temperatures, little breeze blowing. Nice day. Another storm last night with a lot of wind. Fortunately, it only lasted about 45 minutes. Today, we're gonna to continue climbing up Trail 40, then go north on Trail 92, up to the saddle overlooking Imogene Lake. Then we're gonna backtrack south on 92, climb over another saddle, and then drop down to Lake Toxaway, where we're gonna to camp tonight. All right, we have found a really nice campsite overlooking Toxaway Lake. Today was just spectacular. We started at Edith Lake at about 8,600 feet, climbed up to about 9,300 feet, dropped back down to 8,900 feet, then, dropped, then climbed up to 9,400 feet, and now we're dropped back down to about 8,300 feet. But the views were incredible, just absolutely spectacular day.
great campsite last night and no rain. Man, it's just beautiful right along Toxaway Lake. Toxaway is a big lake. The color is kind of bluish green, almost dark turquoise. The uh, low this morning was 42, our coldest uh, morning so far. Today we're going to Alice Lake. We've got about a thousand foot climb up over a pass, then a descent into Alice Lake. It is a gorgeous day, mostly clear, and the temperature is in the low 60s. All right, we have found a really nice campsite on Alice Lake. Today was just incredible. The climb up to the pass was actually about 1,100 feet. It was graded very nice, no steep climbs. Incredible views from the pass looking down on Twin Lake. The weather was just amazing today. Mostly clear, temperatures in the upper 60s this afternoon. Just a fabulous day.
what a beautiful campsite last night. Alice Lake was gorgeous. Rock walls and peaks on the other side. It was a beautiful evening. Calm. Not very cold. No rain. Almost no mosquitoes. And a half moon. So we've changed our plans. Today's going to be our last day. David's got a flight out Sunday morning at 6.15 and he's got a four hour drive to Bozy. So we decided to be pushing it too much to uh, spend another night. So we are taking the Pettit Creek Trail back to Pettit Lake. It is an incredible day. Clear blue skies and the temperatures in the mid 60s. We are almost back to the Pettit Lake Trailhead. And I tell you, this is the first time I've ever backpacked in Sawtooth Wilderness. And it was absolutely incredibly beautiful. I've been to Idaho before, but this is also my first time to backpack in Idaho. So this is my 26th state to backpack in. The loop was amazing, fantastic views, just absolutely great trip. David, what do you think about this backpacking trip? Well, first, Brian, I've got to say thank you for the invitation to join you on this trip because I doubt seriously whether I would have ever made it to the Sawtooth without your invitation. And thank you again because I always learn something from you when I backpack with you and it's always such an enjoyable experience. Uh, the Sawtooth, all I can say is spectacular. Multi-day spectacular in terms of views. And uh, it was wonderful. Again, thanks. All right, great trip. Always enjoy backpacking with David. I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.